Okay, so what I did with this, this is the, of course, the delta mortising jig. And uh, what I did was I put this plate on here. It's about a half inch thick ply to move the fence back a little way. I was having trouble with this collar, collar interfering with with this hold down when I would get all the way down. And this seems to have helped that a little bit. Uh, the other things I did was I, I decided not to use these hold-in clamps. Uh, they kept getting in the way and I knew with, if I was going to try and do those cabriole legs, they wouldn't be of much use for that anyway. So I, I'm using this mag fence to hold it in. And the one other thing I had done in the way of modifications was I, I put this uh, chisel on my hone, my extra fine diamond plate, just to knock off some of the rough edges. There, there are a lot of milling marks on here. And I thought, well, maybe if I could make that a little slicker on the side, maybe it would extract a little better. So, so that, that's what I did there. And so uh, I'll, I'll just try a little uh, mortise here. I've got the depth set so that it, it won't go quite all the way through so I don't get blow out on the other side and then I can put a and I, I put a uh, some lines on here I'll shoot for to, for a test mortise. I think I may have the fence depth about right. Let's see here. Yeah, it's pretty close so we'll call that good. So I'll set the I'll set the hole down right here and then I'll, I'll put this mag feather board on there to hold it in place. That's kind of to replace the these hold ends that were there before. So let's see how this goes. It uh, starts with a fair amount of force, but it seems like once you get it going, it's kind of happy. I tried putting it in and backing it out, but I don't seem to have to do that. Again, this is yellow pine, so it's, you know, moderately hard. Now, here's the extraction part. I think that's what, Steve, you were having trouble with before. And then I'll try and move this over. Kind of moving in direction from my fence here. I'll try and get the one on the other end. to turn it into a through mortise we'll extract this out of there <laughs> better to do that without the thing on it, huh? put this in here like this all right that's about the right spot right there put the feather board up against it hold down in place. Alright. Now I'll take the depth stop off. Try to punch all the way through. Plywood should help keep it from blowing out.
So there's the bottom. It's a not too bad. Top, I gotta <laughs> I won't have to work on trying to hit my lines. You can see I came over a little far this way, so I gotta figure out how to get that a little bit better. But I think you know that came out pretty good, extracted fairly well. I think I'm not sure, I think this is the five sixteenths one here. Um uh, and, and I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but uh, I had some issues here that doesn't fit my collar just right. I had to put a shim in here. There's a metal shim up at the top to make it fit the uh, collar that's here at the top of, on, on the bottom of the quill of my drill press. Uh, I couldn't do it on the one in my wood shop. It wouldn't work on there at all. Uh, and then I, I've got some issues. This chuck is so big that uh, I had to play with the spacing in here just so I can get the drill bit right. But... Uh, Overall, it looks like it uh, it'll it'll probably work for doing mortising in this situation. So uh, I guess that's it.